Okay, good morning and welcome to the us. Uh, welcome to the regular monthly meeting of the Board of Selectmen. Uh, please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Welcome to this regular meeting of the board. Uh, it is a public meeting, not a public hearing. The board uh, reserves the right to call upon any interested attendee to pose a question or make comment on any matter that is specifically on the agenda today. Copies of the meeting's agenda are on the table as you come in the meeting room. Um, item number two on our agenda is approval of minutes from the Board of Selectmen meeting held on July 28th. Are there any corrections? Uh, <coughs> changes to those minutes. Okay, Are there, is there a motion to approve the minutes as presented? So we'll second it. Okay, without objection. Uh, item number three, first selectman updates. Uh, on August 1st, uh, the family tradition continues here in Greenwich with the swearing in of Greenwich's, Greenwich Fire Department's newest recruit, Will Strain. Uh, Will is uh, from a family who has served decades at the Round Hill Volunteer Fire Company, and he was accompanied by his family uh, at the swearing-in ceremony, his mom, Linda, father, um, Rick, and sister, Sharon. Um, we're very happy for Will as he pursues this uh, lifelong dream to be a career firefighter. On August 2nd, we met with representatives for the Community Action Alliance of Western Connecticut, along with Social Services Commissioner Dr. Alan Berry and Town Grants Officer Princess Irvie. The Connecticut Action Alliance of Western Connecticut provided an overview of the services offered to area re residents, many of which are similar to what the Town of Greenwich already provides through the Department of Social Services. But nonetheless, uh, they've done outreach and can fill gaps if they do exist through the services that they provide. On August 5th, um, several department representatives, uh, Katie DeLuca, Denise Savageau, Amy Siebert, Jim Michael, uh, Ben Brannion, our town administrator, um, held a meeting with Eversource uh, to discuss what they anticipate will be future power needs for Greenwich. Um, Eversource continues to develop a plan on how to address the town's power needs. Another informational meeting discussion is scheduled for August 31st. No specific plans, designs, or proposals were presented at the August 5th meeting. That evening, um, August 5th, the St. Lawrence Society hosted a dinner at the St. Lawrence Club where members were presented the annual scholarship award recipient and several residents who are now over in Rose, Italy as part of our sister city relationship relationship were there as our tax collector Todd Ladonia and his family as well as um, B. Crumbine as representing the town of Greenwich as they um, foster this relationship that began in 2013. This uh, tie is very strong going back really to the turn of the century, uh, the 20th century. So I know that they're having a good time. I saw a couple photos uh, of, of the events. On Monday, um, several of us took a tour of the Greenwich Fire Headquarters. Uh, this broke ground on May 2014 and is on target to start uh, moving in in November of this year. So very pleased to see um, the facility that everyone here supported and uh, has been in the works probably for several decades. And I think people will be pleased with the uh, content of the facility and. I expect it to serve well past uh, our lifetimes, for sure. Finally, um, <laughs> finally, uh, 
Monday evening, we also uh, held the public hearing on the Community Development Block Grant recommendations for program year 2017. Um, very pleased to be assisted by not only the advisory committee um, chaired by Alexis Vulgaris, but Princess Urfe, who is our Community Development Block Grant Administrator. Um, I am going to um, refer to the BET um, the recommendations as presented to me by the committee which um, totaled $751,160.92 for program year 2017. Um, in addition to those funds, there was a reprogramming uh, of 16-year funds in the total amount of 43000 So I send those off to the BET for their review. And again, thank the committee. Um, and those in attendance at the hearing uh, from the committee that night, Judith Gost and Sam Tam, who were in attendance. So thank you very much. That's Can I ask the, a sure. Will Strain jo joining the uh, fire department does that have any effect on Round Hill volunteer? Well, he certainly will be um, committed now to the career force. If, if it is free time, he wishes to roll out on the volunteer. He can, hmm. but. He certainly was an integral part of it for 10 years. Right. Okay, item number th uh, four, old business. Uh, really no old business. Uh, under new business, uh, we have a request uh, for a partial road closure on Soundview Drive uh, from Eversource, uh, who is here today. And uh, the request came to us um, and they're requesting a partial road closure for finalizing the relocation of poll number 286-268-53, located on Soundview Drive. The poles have already been reset, however, the services need to be transferred, including the installation of a sidewalk guide wire. The work would take place on Thursday, August 18th, and Friday, August 19th, as the rain date. The southbound lane on Soundview Drive will need to be closed at Field Point and Arch Street. The northbound lane on Soundview Drive will remain open. It is an assumption that the southbound traffic can travel to Railroad Avenue and Woodland Drive. They are going to be uh, requesting the appropriate police staff and signage. Enclosed in the request is the uh, detour plan. Does anybody have any questions? Just remind me to stay home that day. <laughs> okay. Exactly. I noticed today on the way there's a um, tree removal and underway on the corner of Woodland and Soundview. Um, I don't know if it's trimming or removal, but it's a private tree. It certainly will um, result in that taking out any of your infrastructure. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Drew, would you make a motion I to make a motion to <clears throat> approve it? Yes. Sir. Uh, yep, uh, approve the Eversource's request. Uh, this one. Just read the whole thing. Southbound lane. Approve the request that you just basically stated that you know, the southbound sound drive will need to be closed, et cetera, et cetera. It is an assumption that the southbound can travel to Railroad Avenue, and we will request the appropriate staff and police will be there and signage. Great, thank you. It's been moved by Mr. Marzullo. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Toner. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you for being here uh, today. That concludes uh, new business. Uh, do we have anything under appointments and nominations? Yeah, can I ask, you know, Peter sent this list again. And we have all of these people that are on it. Do we have any openings at this point in time? Do you know? Housing? Yes, we do. We housing, uh, there's been an appointment that basically has been carried forth since 2014. You know, Yank, we yes, yes, and so that's, that's one. Um, the one that we need to focus on is the Historic District Commission, and I know that um, I don't. St there's an opening. Lloyd Hall stepped down. Um, there was a request to move, um, and I'm drawing a blank now. His name up to regular, but we we will have to do it at the next meeting, so that it gets on the call in September, because our next meeting is the 25th. Is that yes. I can't think of it. He's on now. He wants to be moved up to regular. But we have several openings. Yeah, but I can't.
can't think of a. Okay. But Peter keep on, keeps on coming up with new names and new names, and I feel badly that he tells that the selectman's office is going to contact these people. Down, and we well, we're down. We're down to really a very small number. I mean, because we don't have any openings. On, I mean, if we go through this quickly, we we don't have right now any harbor openings. Mm -hmm. HDC we HDC we do we don't have any on health we do have on on housing parks and rec we don't have anybody right opening well, my, my point is should we be notifying these people that we don't have any like openings right now like a standard hanging. email that goes by that we received sure it. do you want to mention it to them yeah that we just reconcile what is open for the balance of this year and then I mean we'll, we'll have to start again in the fall looking at the 17 that's a good idea Maybe you can say to them and get back to them, and they'll get we'll get back to them. But it's on file, and we we'll contact if, if there's an opening, we'll contact them for an area, yeah, yeah, or something. Because no, I always feel bad seeing somebody's name there. There's one guy that was on for three years. Okay, so that can, that's it. Then we've got uh, two items in executive session to review. So we'll have to call the folks over in legal so it's to discuss pending litigation do we have a motion mr we do Marzillo, three ten twenty seven is there a second second